All right, what's good, y'all? This is Kid DC Wrestling here, man. First show coming off the heels of Clash at the Castle, man. And right off the gate, man, we're going to get right into it, man. After days, weeks, months, say maybe even over a year, everybody been wondering, man, after all the teases, all the vignettes, man. Uncle Howdy has officially made his return, I should say, to WWE Monday Night Raw at the end of it. Um, honestly... It was pretty cool, man. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, not just Uncle Howdy, in a sense, but the arrival of this rumored new stable known as the Wyatt Six, man. So I'm going to see what happens. I'm going I'm to definitely give it a chance, man, like I do with almost everything. So I'm going to definitely see um, what's going to happen in the next couple of weeks and the next couple of months to really see how the stable you know, comes about because this stable could either be amazingly good or ridiculously bad. I don't know, but I thought the ending um, was really cool, man, and a really nice introduction. Um, but I thought overall Monday Night Raw was really good, man. You know, we saw uh, Jay Uso win the triple threat match to advance to the money in the bank. You know, I thought that was a really good triple threat match. A definitely a big highlight also that took place in the show. We saw Drew McIntyre um, quit the WWE. Obviously, this whole CM Punk incident has been insane, and um, I mean, like, it has gotten to him so bad to the point where now he has just quit the WWE, you know, Triple H, and then tried to get him to stay, but he left the arena, so, and they had confirmed that CM Punk will be in Chicago um, this Friday night on SmackDown, so most likely we'll probably give an update on if he's medically cleared to compete or not, but um, you had... EO Sky advanced to the Money in the Bank in her triple threat match, which was really good. Um, really good triple threat match. The majority of the matches were really good here tonight. And I know uh, a big, another big highlight, man, was Chad Gable. You know, Otis has finally had enough. He and the rest of Alpha Academy have pretty much parted ways with uh, Chad Gable. You know, they had told Chad Gable, like, it's over, man. We're done with you. We don't care about you. Um, all that stuff, etc. Um, but now you also have um, freaking Braun Breaker and Sami Zayn going at it. Um, my God, man. It got so crazy with that match, man, with Braun Breaker and company. Um, Braun Breaker and Sheamus, man, battling out for the inter to see who would challenge for the Intercontinental Championship. So that was pretty crazy, man. I'm not going to lie to you. That was really crazy. Um, but yeah, overall, and then you had the continuation with Dom and Liv, like I said, man, Raw has just been amazingly well these past couple weeks, man, and then Seth Rollins came back, Seth Rollins made his return tonight, which was completely not what anybody expected, man, and it looks like his injury wasn't as uh, shocking as, you know, we thought it would be, but nevertheless, man, crazy, again, crazy ending the Monday Night Raw, crazy start the Monday Night Raw, just overall a really good episode nonetheless, so there you have it.